Welcome back to Tran Wins Greedfall. This episode is going to be very, very light on the commentary because the great majority of it is just the dialogue. If you were to get rid of all the dialogue, it would probably be about 10 minutes long. And I try not to talk over it. Brutes, leave me. I will follow you nowhere. Come now, be reasonable. Our people require the talent of a doctor, and we would prefer to have the best. But an accident is quick in coming. We wouldn't want to have to settle for second best. I do not know what these brutes want with the doctor, but we cannot let them get away with this. Well, well. What do you want? You need to leave the doctor alone. Is that so? Well, let's see if you can live up to your gigantic mouth. What a terrible mess. What a bunch of idiots. Thank you for your help. I don't know where they wanted to take me, but those brutes had the most detestable manners. I'm happy to have been of service. Nevertheless, our presence was not a coincidence. Are you in need of a doctor? Indeed. My cousin is suffering from the Malachor. I know that there's no cure yet. But you still hope. Because surrender is unbearable. I know that. I came here because I couldn't bear to watch the sick die any longer. I had hoped to never see a case of this disgusting disease. Yet here you are. Your experience with the disease might be helpful in treating his symptoms while we... You hope that a few days can bring you what we couldn't find in years? You are extremely naive. I would like nothing more than to send you looking for help elsewhere. But I cannot refuse you. Not after your intervention back there. You are so helpful. And it is only right that I return the favor. I shall leave immediately for New Serene. I'll do my best to help your cousin with the pain. That's all that I'm in a position to promise. Thank you, Doctor. I won't ask for anything more. I'm afraid our search for this Doctor was nothing but a waste of time. What can she even do for Constantine anyway, besides prescribe some bloodlettings? As if your healer's prayers were more effective. A miracle is still possible, but you need to have faith. Something that is completely foreign to you. Enough. We must find a way to heal Constantine. And your quarrels are not helping. We can only hope that she will manage to alleviate his condition. After you complete treason, Constantine needs your help. So we're going to go ahead and collect the wise men from each of the factions. Starting with science, then religion, then magic. Excuse me, are you Cecilius, the famous healer? I am a healer only through the grace of the Illuminated. What can I do for you, my child? My cousin, the governor of New Serene, is in terrible pain. Well, that's terribly sad. Was he wounded in combat? Was it during the Coin Guard's rebellion? Alas, no. He is afflicted with the Malachor, and his days are numbered. We are looking for a cure, but... Now that's a true miracle that you require. And I fear that they're extremely rare in these pagan lands. If they are rare in these lands, there would be no sick in Telemi. Your so-called science. Is it any more effective? But I implore you, go and fetch one of your doctors. That will give me time to pray in peace. Afra. No matter what you think about miracles, let us try. My cousin's life hangs in the balance. Superstitious nonsense. Then why not make three laps around the fountain? The result will be the same, just without the annoyance of this conversation. Cecilius, my friend. If there's anyone on this island capable of helping the governor, it is you. Have you not been blessed by the Illuminated? 
Is it not your obligation to aid our allies? Without them, who knows what would have happened to our holy city during the plot? Petrus, you always knew how to weave words to get what you want. Very good. I'll go to New Serene and try to ease the governor's pain. But do not feed on vain hopes. There are trials that we must accept to undertake with humility. A thousand thanks, Sicilius. May the Illuminated go with you, my child. There is no miracle that he cannot accomplish. I will pray that you find this cure that we need so desperately. I have not lost hope. How can you believe that this Sicilius will be able to do anything? Miracles are nothing but superstitions. Because your healers can cure the Malachor? Excellent news. All I'm hoping for is that he'll manage to give my cousin some time. And some respite while we look for an antidote. Get out! Who do you think you are to defoil our ritual? One of those moin shakers, no doubt. Hayden, it is your duty to assure we are not interrupted. A thousand pardons, Tien. It is indeed one of those moin shakers. A moin shaker? Look at him more closely, Aiden. He is on all Manawi. Present yourself and tell me why you interrupt our ceremony. My name is Desade. I have come looking for you to ask for your help. I greet you, Don Egad. We are so sorry to have interrupted your ritual, but my friend truly needs your advice. Don't excuse yourself. Are you the daughter of Bladnid? Are you not a Don Egad as well? It is true, but my powers of healing are far less powerful than your own. And you travel with a mind shaker. Strange trio. I am Bishop Petrus, but I am not a mind shaker. A missionary. Why, pray tell, are you asking? There are people wearing the same insignia that pass their time troubling the minds of my people. Missionaries? I was not aware. I'm only here to accompany my friend, I assure you. He is not a bad man, Donegad even if his beliefs are foreign and strange. Then, how can I help you? My cousin suffers from a terrible sickness, the Malachor. I do not know this sickness, but perhaps we call it by a different name. It turns the blood black and provokes terrible suffering, and alas, it is fatal in all cases. The symptoms of its victims start with severe headaches and nausea. Their blood becomes effectively darker and more viscous. The veins become visible. In the end, the victim weakens and dies. We have not, as of yet, found a treatment. We've never seen the ailing touched by such a sickness. And I doubt I am able to heal your cousin. We are looking for a remedy, but urgently need to relieve his pain. Could you slow the progression of the sickness? Keep him from suffering? In that, I can help you. I know how to make one forget the pain, even the most severely wounded. But Tiern, with all that is happening now, you cannot leave to visit this ill person. It is true. My village needs me now. I cannot leave. I must attend them. What is going on? Perhaps we can help you. Truly? You? Do they have a choice, Aiden? They do really seem to have need of me, don't they? Well, then tell us what we need to do. The situation has become unbearable. And it all started when these Moin Shakers began arriving. They wanted to convert everyone and take them to another place, turn them away from us. And of course, the village folk would not be persuaded, but the Moin Shakers remained. 
And it was also at that time the Tenlen started to attack. It is not their way to do as such. There are many wounded, and recently many have gone missing. We must discover from where these monsters come. I can try and talk sense into the missionaries, perhaps with the help of Bishop Petrus. As for the attacks of the creatures, I will see what I can do. But I need more information. Our master hunter, or the families of the Taken, could most likely help you. Very well. I'll take care of it. Make preparations to accompany us. The days are burning like very thin candles. Do not worry. If you see to the concerns of my village, I will be most happy to accompany you. Let's go and see this master hunter. He should be able to tell us more about these attacks. Good day. Are you the master hunter? Beur tir tu madre, Nike. I am indeed one and the same person. What do you want of me? The Rene Gad Katasach spoke to me about the animal attacks. Could you tell me more? The Tenlands have been angered. They are very angry. The beasts have always lived here. But they only attack if we tread near their nest. Of late, they attack on sight. There have been many wounded, and some of our young have even disappeared. It may be that the Tenlands killed them, but it is also possible they followed the missionaries. What can you tell me about the Tenlands? They are normally very peaceful creatures, very calm, but who defend their young with fury. During the attacks, I noticed that they were not all the same. Not all from the same nest. What do you mean? That the other beasts don't come from here, but from other places. And that they are coming more and more often. Were there many victims? Many wounded. Thanks to the healing powers of the Donegan, they survived. But the attacks happen more and more often and they come with greater fury. I try to chase them away, to destroy any nests that I found, but still, more of them come, and now our children disappear. Distress alone could kill our village. Can you tell me who they are? A young fisherman and a gatherer. You will find the sister of the woman and the brother of the man in the village. I will go and see them. Isn't it odd that these creatures who are normally passive have become so aggressive? Yes. Yes. This has never happened in my lifetime. What do you know? Speak! Lives are at risk! I do not speak of things I am not sure of. The Renaik say, like you, do not understand the bond we have with nature. I believe I can help you in your fight against the Tenlands. How would you advise me to go about it? You must destroy their nests. It's sad, but the only way to stop their numbers growing. There are most likely three around here. I can point you in the direction to one that I discovered. I would have taken care of it, but my village cannot spare my presence here. I must keep watch. I did not find the two others. Some in the village may know where to find them. And how would I go about destroying the nests? You must burn them and kill the dominant one, or else they will build again. We see them especially at dawn. After that, we no longer see them. But be careful, Renaxi. The night belongs to the Tenlands. That is when they are most awake. Going out at night is very dangerous. I thank you for your advice. We shall go and destroy the nest come dawn. 
Is there anything that we might be able to do for you? Besides destroying their nests and fighting the Denlands, do you know the art of crafting weapons? Our artisan was among the wounded, and my weapon is broken. I can try to repair it. Here, in this condition, it is of no use to me at all. What do you know about the missionaries? The Moin Shakers? They came here before the attacks of the Tenlands and buzz around us like flies. They speak of light, of demons, and the soul. Their words make little sense. All that they want is for us to join their village and that we serve them as if they were Tiern. They want to make us Renaigse. They want to sever our bond with our lands. Their words do not touch those old enough to understand, but the young are sometimes swayed and listen. They follow them to their Eden village and they become their servants. Their bond is cut. Have you tried to fight them? No, but some have fought, because they treat the young girls badly. I think if not for the attacks, no one would have turned to them and their light. But hope fled our village, and the weak of courage have doubts and listen to their lies. It sounds as if the attacks began at a timely moment for the missionaries. I must be going. Kadazak advised us to speak with the families of those missing. Perhaps they might know where the tenants have built their nests. Here is your weapon. It is just like new. Thank you. You have given it back its purpose. It belonged to my master before me, and you have understood its nature. It may be that you are more on Ormanawi than Renaigse, and that you will one day see as we. During my walks, I saw a great tenlan of clear skin. The others seemed to follow him. I felt that he called them, that he fed them rage, and that his place is not here. Why didn't you try to kill it? He is very strong, and the others protect him. I was only able to track him to his lair, a cavern. I placed traps all around it, but all were avoided. He is clever. You say he doesn't have his place here. What do you mean? That he was brought here to attract the others and make them rage. By men, the Renaigse. say. But I cannot prove this. That is why I did not wish to voice these thoughts. I feel it, nothing more. I must be going. Bertir to Madre Nightsy. Are you looking for a guide? Do you offer services as a guide? Sometimes I take Renaigse to a good fishing place. They give me beautiful objects in exchange. But right now we have to be careful. There have been accidents with the Tenlands. Did you want anything else? I must go. Goodbye. Good day. I have been sent here by your Donegad. He asked me to help you. I hope he is right, and that you are not like the Moin Shakers. My sister has gone missing. It is for that very reason that I am here. 
to attempt to find her or to understand. Then I will tell you what I know. Your sister, what does she look like? She is a very beautiful young woman, kind and sweet. I miss her so very much. Is she very careful? Does she know she should be wary of the beasts? Oh yes, she knows it very well. But she has been star-eyed of late, and the stars make you forget all caution. Is there anyone in the village that might want her harmed? No. No, everyone loves her. Maybe a little too much. Why do you say that? She is beautiful and young. The mind shakers took notice, and the boys of the village did as well. I must leave now. Good day. My name is Desar Day from the congregation. I've been told that someone dear to you has disappeared. Yes, my little brother. He left to go fishing, like every day, and he did not return. Your Donegad asked me to help you. Any information you can give me would be very useful. This is true. I hope your words to be heartfelt. My insides are twisting in fear that my brother is lost. Can you describe your brother for me? He is young, rather tall and strong. The girls find him handsome. He is such a nice boy, but he is wild off the tether, and often his curiosity gets him in trouble. Can you tell me more precisely when he disappeared? Where and under what circumstances? It was two days past. I saw him leave to go fishing, as he was often to do. And you cannot remember anything out of the ordinary? No, he was full of joy, full of life. I am so worried about him. Did your brother have any enemies? No, I can't think of anyone who would plant strangleweeds in his garden. Perhaps a youthful rivalry? He didn't get along particularly well with the Master Hunter, but it was nothing serious. Perhaps the missionaries. He did get into a fight with them, but they surely wouldn't have taken him. That could be a lead. Was he close to anyone? He has been dreamy and more joyful than usual. Those are the signs of someone stricken with love. But he no longer wants to share secrets with me. He told me that he has grown beyond the shadow of his brother. And the birds in his branches are his. What do you think most likely happened to him? He could have come face to face with Tenlands. They've become angry of late. But he knew how to avoid them. He might have had a run-in with the Mind Shakers as well. He got into a fight with them a while back because of a young girl in our village. You think the missionaries might have sought vengeance? I don't know. But he might have went to find them in their village. He bears no good feelings towards them. I will go and see. Maybe they can tell me more. What can you tell us about the Tenlands? They are beasts that live near water, rivers or coasts. In all our memories, only if you approach their nests do they anger and attack. But lately... Yes. Katazak told me they attacked the villagers. Could you point in the direction of their nest? I know where to find one, but there are certainly more. My brother should not have left the village alone. But for a while now, he does not share my fears for him. Could you tell me about the missionaries? The Mind Shakers. They came here to take us to a marvelous village. They said it was a perfect place where all is shining in light and where there is no danger. Their words seem to have been to your liking. A place
place full of peace is a dream. Here we must fight to survive since the Tenlands have grown angry. And now their stories of light are difficult to imagine. It seems like a beautiful place though. But my brother fought with them. They gave trouble to a young girl, one of his friends. He told me that these mind shakers were liars. That they were hurting the more innocent young. I don't really know what to think. If they took them, could you tell them to give them back? There is no fair trade for our children. The story about the fight compels me to at least go and ask them some questions. I must be leaving. Place the fisherman's brother mentioned. A nest must be close to here. The hunting mission of the dormant only went out at dawn. I would be better to come back later. This monster, I believe, only spawns once. He's always going to be fighting the bandits, which, as far as I know, they will never kill each other, they will not hurt each other. You can be sitting out in the distance for a long time and the bandits won't die. Maybe it's changed, but that's that's what I remember. This era also has the armor that I'm wearing now, the Merchant Prince's armor. Basket full of berries and a trap full of fish, all of it scattered and half eaten by beasts. Our two lost souls were here together. They must have been attacked, or they wouldn't have left their takings. Let's search the area. Maybe we can find their trail. But Cavern seems to be home to some creatures. Let's be wary. It could very well be the lair of that great tenon the hunter spoke of.
three corpses. No doubt our missing couple. They were dragged here and devoured alive. What a tragic fate. I cannot believe that these missionaries used such a ruse to achieve their goals. Two youths died because of them. Now you understand why some of us fight against the Rinaigse. Their words are always sweet, but all they bring is death. You can actually find these skeletons as soon as you can reach this map, though the priest's body isn't there if I remember correctly. Village. Their families need to be informed. The hunter told me that I would find a nest in this area. Be better to come back later. It is dawn, the ideal moment. I must kill the dominant before destroying the nest. Kill the dominant before the storm. 
Well, on all Manawi, have you found my brother? I found him, but... I am truly sorry. Your brother is dead. May the Earth welcome him. I felt it. How did it come to pass? He knew every stone on our lands. It couldn't have been an accident. He had a liaison with a young girl from the village. They would meet in a clearing. They must have forgotten the hour. Night took them by surprise, and a Tenlan crossed their path. I found both of them in the cavern of the beast. How terrible. Why did he go to see the girl in secrecy? They could have... I must recover his body, to give it up to the Earth, as is our custom. Where is it? With the body of the girl he loved. In a cavern, near the clearing. But it is a dangerous place. Other Tenlands might still be roaming there. Though I did kill quite a few. I have a duty owed to my little brother. Thank you, Onol Manawi. I will not forget this. I must be leaving. any news? Do you know where my sister is? Yes. I'm truly very sorry. Oh no. Nah. Sir Tonsidag, please do not tell me that she is dead. I found her body in the lair of a great Tenlan. Not far from the clearing. But how could she have been surprised by the beasts? She knew the danger. She went out to meet the young fisherman. The time must have flown by into the night. I am so sorry. We found them both dead. I must bring her body back to carry out the right. You should not go alone. I killed as many as I could, but it would be better to be prudent. I shall follow your counsel on all Manawi. Two deaths are enough. Thank you. Thank you. Could you tell me anything about the missionaries? They are monosonic. They think that they can take anything they desire. What do you mean? They came to our beautiful village. They wanted to take away our young people. Many heard their words and left. We never saw them again. But I saw how they treated my sister. I believe that they take the young to serve them. They wanted to take my sister like that, as if she were a tool. And if it were not for the young fisherman. The one who is also missing? Yes. He was very brave. I hope they didn't hurt her to avenge their pride. I'm going to have to go and speak with them. Tell me about the Tenlands. About their attacks. Before, I only very rarely came across the beasts. We knew their nesting grounds and kept clear of them. But now they are everywhere and they attack 
everyone. They've even been known to come as close as the clearing where we pick berries. Very far from their favorite grounds. Do you know how to fight them? No, I am not a fighter. If you want such advice, ask the Master Hunter. Well, I will go and investigate this clearing. Perhaps they've built a nest near there. It is possible, because before there was never one near there. I must leave now. Given the presence of tenlands in this clearing, there must be a nest not far from here. is destroyed. The Master Hunter will no doubt be relieved to hear it. Beasts answer your calling, O Normanawi. You are a brave hunter. The village will at last find peace once again. When approaching the missionary's camp, you can't enter the building if you go from the front. So you have, if you want to investigate it further, you actually have to sneak in from from the hillside. so-called religious men dare to abuse these young people. I thought that the word of the Enlightened was very clear on this subject. These missionaries are a disgrace to our order. Believe me, I'll make sure they cannot hurt anyone else.
Good day. I am the legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this isle. Might I ask you a few questions? Of course. Our allies from the continent are always welcome among us. What do you want to know? Could you tell me what your mission here is? We must return these lost souls to the light and guide them so that they might receive the revelation. We have constructed the perfect village, Eden, where they might discover peace. In this protected paradise, they can receive divine teachings and join the illuminated chosen people. Have you heard about the Tenlin attacks on the village? I didn't know those creatures were given that name, but yes, we have heard talk about the attacks. We offered them our help and some comfort in their most difficult hour. In exchange for some inspiring conversation, I suppose. Of course. These horrible beasts have most certainly been sent by the demons of this isle. To chase only a few away would be of no use. If they truly desire peace, they must see the light. You haven't been victim of these attacks. On occasion, yes. But thanks to the Illuminated, we were able to chase them away with little effort. You seem to assert that the attacks of these Tenlands is somehow linked to the demons on the Isle. Whereas these are creatures that the natives have always known. They nest beside them. These are familiar beasts, but hasn't anyone informed you that their patterns have changed? These creatures have been riled up by the demons of the island, who have come to realize we are near victory. Sending them against these poor people, they maintain them in a state of fear and obedience to their shaman healer. There is only one way to truly make these attacks cease, my child. Convert these people. Defeat these demons. The Donegad wishes your departure. You disturb the tranquility of their village. And you expect us to obey him? Haven't you understood that he is a servant of the island's demons? To leave would be to abandon the simplistic souls of all those that follow him, ceding victory to the demons. No, my child. We will not leave this place until the light shines over every dwelling. I fought against a great number of Tenlands. One that was quite spectacular. A great white beast. Its mere presence seemed to aggravate the others, attract them, and make them aggressive. A beast sent by the demons, no doubt. But... Stop taking me for a fool. We also found a journal outlining your vicious plan. I have only one piece of advice to give you. Leave, and quickly, or the Mother Cardinal will learn every detail of your manipulations. We shall be leaving as soon as possible. But let it be known that you are abandoning all of these poor souls to damnation. Perhaps you should be more concerned about your own soul, sister. People have died by your fault. The nests are destroyed. And with the death of the White Tenlin, the attacks should cease. We were even able to convince the missionaries to leave. Kadazak should be willing to follow us now. Let us go and find him. face that you were victorious. Indeed. I put the white Tenlin down, who was enraging his kind, and destroyed their nests. The attacks should no longer be troubling you. As for the missionaries, we were able to convince them to leave, but they were not ready to admit their involvement in the attacks that harmed you. And so they were in some way responsible. I had my suspicions, but I could not see their reasons. They brought a particularly large beast here, that attracted and enraged the others. This is what provoked the attacks and brought on our despair. These people have blood on their hands. In the end, we found the missing young ones. Alas, too late. Devoured by wild beasts. Undivorced tear end. You did well on Almanawi. Now they shall be able to find the rest. 
Will you accompany me now? My cousin needs your help. I have packed what is needed. I am ready to journey with you. This pain, it'll be the death of me. I can't control my body. It's like being a stranger in a marionette set ablaze, consumed by a smoldering fire. The moment's growing near, isn't it? Am I about to surrender my ghost to the Reaper of Souls? You flutter in just when you're needed, cousin, as always. Who are you? Your hand is cold as ice. Your cousin is burning. That is such a relief. Let me present Katasak Konstantin. He is the greatest healer on the island. He will help you. Please, stay. I am here for you, Rnaikse. And I will not leave until I found a way to ease your pain and suffering. Fill your mind with the patience of the ocean. I know not how much time I will need. I've never seen such a sickness. The spirits of your lands must be quite horrendous to cast down such evils upon the peoples that live there. Thank you. Neither science surgeon nor mage doctor could do a damn thing to alleviate my pain. I give you my last ounce of hope. Thank you, cousin. I don't want to imagine my plight without your intervention. Thank you very much for watching Tran Wins Greedfall. I'll see you next time.